guys are doing a great job collecting a lot of sap from the maple trees. We had some really good days, but then we've had some really cold days where it froze and we didn't get much sap at all. After you collect it, I've been bringing it here to my house. Once it's here, we have the next problem. Right now, we have a bunch of water with a little bit of the maple sugar in it, but we need to get rid of all that water. I could try to dump it all out, but if I just dump the water out, the sugar will fall out with the water, so that won't help. So what I need to do is figure out a way to get rid of water, but leave the sugar behind. Back in the olden times, and what we still do today, is we boil the water off. When we boil the water, the water level goes down farther and farther, but the maple sugar stays there, so it gets more and more concentrated and tastes more and more sweet, and we're left with only a little bit of water with a lot of sugar, and it tastes really good, and that's maple syrup. The problem is, this takes a long, long time. It's a lot of boiling, so we had to come up with a better way, a trickier way that doesn't take quite so long where we can get rid of all the water. One trick is using a super, super small filter. I use a normal filter when I initially pour the jugs out because I want to keep all the bugs away that were in it. But if we had a small enough filter, imagine a filter so small that the water molecules could go through, but the sugar molecules were too big so the sugar got left behind. Let's take a look at this. I got this big bottle full of glitter and we're gonna pretend like the water is water and we're gonna pretend like the glitter is the sugar molecules inside the water. If I just unscrewed this top and dumped it out, it would dump out the sugar molecules along with the water. But what I did is I made a filter, a small filter, small enough so the sugar molecules can't get through, but the water can. If I put pressure on it and I squeeze that water through, squeeze the water through, now we have less water but the same number of sugar molecules. So the water would taste a lot sweet if that was really sugar with water. So what I'm doing is I'm squeezing a lot of the water out, but then for the last little bit, I boil the rest. So I have a special lid, I cut a hole out, and I put it on top of the bucket, then I have my funnel, and the funnel has a screen in there, and that's to filter out all the dirt, and things like bugs and stuff like that, if there's some bugs in it. Before I start it through my special pump, I'm going to first filter out all that junk. So here we go. Looks like we have some ice in there because it was so cold outside. All right, now we have a bucket full of our sap from the tree and it's been filtered so there aren't any big sticks or pieces of dirt or bugs or anything like that in it. Now what I'm gonna do is I need to force it through my special filter. And so I have a pump. I have, this is full of our maple sap and we need to get the water out so I need to pump it through my special filter. So I have this long tube here, and this long tube comes up to this, and this is my pump. This pumps the sap out, and then this puts it into a normal filter. This filter is just to get dirt and stuff like that if there's super small pieces of dirt. And then it comes through here, and around the tube, and into my special filter. This special filter has the filter so small that sugar can't get through it and only water can so the pump puts pressure it pushes the water through and then there's two things coming out this one here the blue tube is the pure water that got pushed through the filter and i just keep it put it into a bucket so that way i can dump it out later and then this is the concentrated sap so it's the it's sap that has some a lot of water taken out and then i put it back into this bucket and that way I'll have it go through the pump again and again and again to get more and more of the water out so there's more and more sugar and less and less water. And then once that's done, then I boil the rest off. So this is a special bobber that I have. It has a weight on the bottom and what it does is it floats in water, but it floats more if there's more sugar. So if there's no sugar in it, it'll sink down just to the zero. That means there's zero percent sugar. 
if it's five percent sugar that means five pieces of sugar for out of out of a hundred pieces total it'll float out of five the sap that we're getting out of the tree starts off uh, pretty close to two to three to four percent sugar so what I do is I put it in here and I give it a little spin to make sure there's no air bubbles stuck to it because the air bubbles would make it float more and then we take a look and it looks like we're starting off at about 3% sugar and we need to get to 65% sugar for it to be considered maple syrup. So then once we get the water out we'll remeasure and we'll see how much it is after we put it through the filter and then once we're all done and we have pure maple syrup we'll measure it again to make sure we're at 65. Right. So after it's been through the filter we got a lot of water out and then it can get a higher percent sugar. We'll give it a little spin. See how it's floating a lot more? And it's floating at about 22. 22 is about as most as I can get concentrated out of my machine going through the filter. So all the rest we have to boil. So we have to boil from 22 to 65. So here's my setup. I have a burner hooked up to the gas. And then inside the pot, I have our sap that I've been boiling down. And then what I do is I take some fresh stuff. This has been concentrated. It had a lot of water, but we took it out a lot, a lot of water out. So I'm putting it in here. And now we're gonna have to boil this down some more to keep it, to get the rest of that water off. All right. One question that people ask is, how do we know when it's maple syrup instead of just maple sap? And what we have to do is measure the temperature of what it boils at. Normally, water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. But maple set syrup boils at 219 degrees Fahrenheit, 7 degrees higher than 212. And so what we do is we boil off the water and we measure the temperature. And it's, at first, the temperature is pretty close to uh, 212 when it's boiling, but then as it, as it gets more, rid of more and more water, the temperature goes up and up and up. And as soon as it gets to 219 degrees, I know I'm done. And I turn off the heat and then I'm all set to go. Thanks for helping out. I can't wait to see you on Wednesday at the Pancake Breakfast.